I declare the May 2020 commencement for the College of Business and the College of Health Sciences of the State University of New York Polytechnic Institute in session. Good morning and welcome. I'm Dr. Joanne Joseph, Dean of the College of Health Sciences at SUNY Poly. Please remain standing for our national anthem. The national anthem will be performed by Ms. Mara Yukna of Utica, New York, a senior majoring in business administration. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Be seated. I ask that members of the platform party stand and remain standing as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until all are recognized. Dr. Louise Dean Kelly, Associate Professor for Family Nurse Practitioner, Mace Bearer. Dr. Mark Montgomery, Chief Diversity Officer. Ms. Yasminka Husik, SUNY Poly alumna, class of 2008. Mr. Abnash Kamrash, student representative of the student council. Mr. Sean Wu, student government treasurer. Dr. Linda Weber, chair of the faculty senate and co-chair of the Go governance council. Mr. Meg uh, Ms. Megan Getman, registrar. Dr. Arthur Liu, Dean of the College of Business. Dr. Stephen Schneider, Provost. Ms. Roian Destito, Chair of the College Council. Dr. Todd Larson, President. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor of presenting to you Dr. Todd Larson, President of SUNY Poly Technic Institute. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful morning. What an honor for us to, to be out and to honor these graduates. 
I, I'm so honored to be here today and to be able to congratulate all of our graduates and our academic awardees for reaching the milestone that we want to commemorate today. And we'll do that. That's really what this day is about. But I would be remiss, I think, at the beginning of my remarks if I didn't take a moment to acknowledge the just amazing effort that both our faculty and staff have made, not only this semester, not only during your time with us here at Poly, but particularly throughout the pandemic. The expertise, the support, the knowledge, the care for students, they provide, I think, hopefully you and, and I know me as, a, as their colleague, knowledge and inspiration for, for everything that we do here. So before we begin, I'd like, I hope that everybody will join me in giving a round of applause to all of our faculty and staff members of SUNY Poly. And I'd like to ask them to stand and be recognized, please. So as I was thinking about what I wanted to say today, a friend of mine reminded me of the story of Pandora's box, which I think we've all heard in some form or fashion and probably use the phrase Pandora's box quite often as well. There are different versions of the Greek myth, and I'm sure you're familiar with the general idea. It's a tale in which Prometheus stole fire from heaven, bestowing it upon humans. And to punish us for gaining this power, Zeus sent a box full of evils. Curiosity led Pandora to open the box, releasing these evils into the world. So as we look around the world today and acknowledge some of the things that are going on, it would be easy, maybe too easy, to sort of fall into remembering this part of Pandora's box or the story of Pandora's box. We see images of war in Europe. We see rising costs at the gas pump at the store this is hitting our families hard. We all know this. We see a persistent pandemic. We still have these and we're you know, having to really take more care than, than perhaps we were used to doing a couple of years ago. So members of the class of 2022, you faced your share of challenges too. When you look back on your college experience, I don't have any doubt that you're gonna think somewhat of the impacts that have resulted from COVID-19. And unfortunately, in addition to the everyday hardships, many have lost, have, have lost loved ones. Everybody had to adapt to keep each other as safe as they could. And that made events like today, and in fact, the day-to-day -day study that you did during your time here even possible, that mutual care for each other. And in fact, I hope you'll be proud as you consider how you did your part in the face of COVID-19. You did the things we asked you to do. You wore face coverings, you socially distanced, you tested regularly, certainly not because it was convenient, but because it was responsible, because it showed care for your fellow citizens and students. And we also know that doing it helped minimize the spread on campus so that we could provide you with the most hands-on education we could. In time, as we know, in-person classes returned to campus, athletics resumed competition in this building and in the fields out behind us. And of course, I'm thrilled as another example of that, that we're able to have this in-person graduation ceremony today. So through it all, I think you'll be able to look back and know that you were part of a SUNY Polytechnic Institute that kept advancing, kept moving forward. So we have a choice here. We could focus on Pandora's proverbial box. A lot of our fellow citizens maybe are doing that. But instead, we're here today to celebrate your academic achievements and wish you well as you step out into the world, armed with an education that will serve you for a lifetime of success. So as you look to all that is ahead of you, I want you to be confident, knowing that SUNY Poly will always look forward to the future as well. Significant physical investments are being made to enhance the student experience and the academic offerings here at SUNY Poly. 
Thanks to the family of the late Francis Wilcox, $1.9 million has been devoted to support engineering-focused renovations, tools, resources, and scholarships at our Utica campus. Millions of dollars are also going into other facility improvements, including the Campus Center, where I know many of you came from today in the procession. And you probably noticed the new pedestrian bridge, which is not quite ready for today, unfortunately, but very close to opening and, and will physically beautify the campus and make it much easier to get around. Simultaneously, we're working with our partners on some really big things, too. One of them that's pending right now is the possibility of a new National Semiconductor Technology Center in Albany to serve as a hub for semiconductor research and prototyping. This center would provide invaluable innovation-based student opportunities, and it would leverage the synergies between the Mohawk Valley and Capital Region's high-tech ecosystem. So both locally and statewide, you can see that Poly is aggressively working to continue to be a reliable partner to our communities, to our industries, and to our government. We're also in the process of hiring nearly two dozen new faculty members, so our top tier faculty will be even stronger than ever and will be better able to inspire our next cohort of graduates. And I think the other thing I'd like for you to be able to count on about SUNY Poly is that we will continue to dedicate ourselves to meeting students where they are, facilitating economic opportunities and social mobility regardless of the individual's background. This dedication is a hallmark of the entire State University of New York system, and SUNY Poly has particularly excelled at this from its earlier days, dating back to its days as an upper division institute. So returning to the idea of Pandora's box, even when it seems like Pandora's box has opened wider than ever, your alma mater will remain energized with a vision that does not change. We will always prioritize student academic achievement, workforce training, and leading edge research to meet the world's challenges. We will always provide our students the tools to succeed so that they can continually be proud of the institution from which you've earned your degree today. So when I came across the story of Pandora's box, I thought it provided a powerful reminder of all we have faced together and all we have worked to overcome. Yet. In the context of this mythical story, our thriving in the face of a chaotic world is not unexpected. And here's the thing about the story that I had missed, or forgotten. Not missed, but forgotten. Because one thing most of us forget about Pandora's box is that the last item inside it was not evil or misery. It was hope. The late playwright and president of the Czech Republic, Václav Havel, famously wrote, "Hope." in this deep and powerful sense is not the same as joy that things that are going well or willingness to invest in enterprises that are obviously headed for early success, but rather an ability to work for something because it is good, not just because it stands a chance to succeed. So my wish for you today is that you are filled with this most robust type of hope that you can forever pull from the well of knowledge you have gained at SUNY Poly and work towards noble ends. That no matter what you are up against, you can remind yourself that hope remains just as it always has. I hope that especially today, you realize the strength you have within yourself to persevere. That you pursue your dreams and aim to realize your full promise and keep pushing forward along this forever unfinished journey that we're all on. As I close, I would like to ask you to take a moment to consider everyone who has stood by your side, pushing you to this moment, inspiring you, giving you hope along the way. I encourage you to thank all who played a role. Many of them are here today, I'm sure. Your parents, siblings, maybe your children, aunts, uncles, grandparents, your family a mentor, a teacher, friends. Call them, text them, thank them. Let them know they made a difference and that you're thinking of them today. Thank you for making a difference at SUNY Poly. We're deeply, deeply proud of all of you. We wish you all the success and happiness life can offer, and I hope to see you return to campus soon. Congratulations.
It's my pleasure to introduce the 2022 College Council Student Representative, Avinash Kamraj. Hello, my name is Avinash Kamraj, and I was the 2021-2022 College Council Student Representative. It is with great regret that our student government at Utica President Jay Fish cannot be here today to celebrate with you all and congratulate you as the class of 2022. I am honored to represent him at such a special moment for our graduating students. I will now be reading his remarks for you all. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Through my time here at SUNY Poly, I've had the privilege to serve you as your student government president for the 2021-2022 academic year, as well as the chief of staff under the SGU president, Giovanni Harvey, for the years 2020 through 2021. It has been a pleasure working with each of you to make your time at SUNY Poly the most positive experience. We work together to create inclusive events where everyone felt welcomed, opportunities outside of the classroom to have experiential learning, and personal growth and positive change for all of our students, as well as the com campus community. We've made the most wonderful memories, celebrated the highest of the highs, and supported each other to on in very challenging times. Through the struggles of adjusting to online learning and a global pandemic, to times of immense historic social change. The class of 2022 has had the opportunity to see history in action. Because of all this, we know we are sending you into the world as a resilient and strong leaders of tomorrow. It may not have always been easy, but you all are stronger because of these experiences. You are now ready to take the next steps, whatever they may be. What is even more exciting is that in these seats, we know we have the next leaders of tomorrow who will work together and strive for a better tomorrow. Rest assured, tomorrow will come and it will surely be exciting. But today, we come together to celebrate you and all of your amazing academic achievements. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see how you're able to impact the world. I want to leave you with a quote. Kerry Washington once said, your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. When you leave this room and are celebrating with your families and friends today, I ask that you reflect on the chapters you have written so far in your story, the good times you've had and the achievements you've reached. As for your future, keep writing those chapters and then come back and share your stories with future SUNY Poly students. Your influence will impact on generations to come. I would like to thank you for your time and congratulate you once again as the class of 2022. You did it. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce SUNY Poly Student Government Treasurer, Sean Wu. First off, I would like to say congratulations to the graduating class of 2022. It has been an honor serving as the treasurer for the student government at Utica this past year. This year, the class gift committee decided to donate the allocated funds of $7,000 to the SUNY Poly Foundation in an effort to begin collecting and combining funds from multiple class gifts to make an even larger investment into the campus. Thank you to the class gift committee for their generosity to make the next class gift bigger and better for the future generations of SUNY Poly students. I wish you all the best in your next steps in the outside world. Thank you and congratulations. And thank you, Dr. Larson, faculty and staff, for your leadership in supporting each member of the class of 2022. Well, 
Thank you, Sean, and thanks to the class of 2022 for this very generous gift. It's, uh, it's going to be a great remembrance for us, a way to remember you and your time here, and we're exceedingly grateful for your generosity. At this time, I would like to introduce Provost Dr. Steven Schneider as we present the 2022 Academic Awards. Good morning. Good morning. This is a special opportunity for us to recognize those students who have achieved a very high level of success in their academic programs. We honor our students who have been challenged and have achieved success and excellence across our programs. We're also grateful for the encouragement and support of their families, many of whom are here today to join in this celebration. Likewise, your faculty have played a critical role in your success and are here today in recognition of your success. I would like to ask our faculty to stand as we give them a round of applause, once again, to thank them for their hard work and dedication. We'll now begin the presentation of awards. Award recipients should come forward to the stage when their names are announced and exit the stage on my right. The College of Business Outstanding, Ac uh, Outstanding Accounting Student Award is given to an outstanding student based on high academic achievement, classroom contributions, and service to the Institute. This year's recipient is Armin Zaharovic. The College of Business Outstanding Business Administration Student Award is given to the student who has demonstrated outstanding knowledge and growth in business. The award is based on academic performance, dedication to the discipline, and potential in the field. This year's recipient, Cheryl Lee. College of Business Outstanding Student in Business Service Award is given to a student from the College of Business based on service, drive, and determination. This year's recipient, Shannon Birmingham. College of Business Outstanding Finance Student Award is given to the student who has demonstrated outstanding knowledge and growth in finance. The award is based on academic performance, dedication to the discipline, potential in the field. This year's recipient, Christian Strain. The College of Business Robert D. Leidig Memorial Award is given to the student who has demonstrated outstanding professionalism and participation in the approach to the study of business administration or accounting. This year's recipient, Tyler Schwartz. The College of Business Outstanding Graduate Student in Accountancy Award is given to a Master of, Master of Science in Accountancy student based on academic achievement, drive, and determination. This year's recipient, Sharon Nichols.
The College of Business Graduate Dean's Award is presented to the student who exemplifies academic and accomplishment and intellectual curiosity, this year's recipient, Kristen Rollins. The College of Business's Undergraduate Dean's Award is presented to the student who exemplifies academic accomplishment and intellectual curiosity, this year's recipient, Francesca Leno. The College of Arts and Sciences Margaret Mead Award is given to the student who best demonstrates an understanding of the anthropological perspective. This year's recipient is Ek Hepa. Two additional awards for student, I'm sorry, one additional award for student in the College of Business, the Chancellor's Award for Student Excellence, honors students who have best demonstrated and been recognized for their integration of academic excellence with leadership, athletics, career achievement, community service, or creative and performing arts. Will Garrett Hassard please come forward? From the College of Health Sciences, the College of Health Sciences Community and Behavioral Health Health Innovation Award is given to a student who demonstrates creative thinking in developing solutions for health care problems, this year's recipient, Marina Tadora. College of Health Sciences Professionalism in Community and Behavioral Health Award is given to the student who exemplifies high academic, professional, and ethical standards in an applied or service-based setting, this year's recipient, Colin Brown. College of Health Sciences New York Health Information Management Association Outstanding Senior Student Award is presented to a senior student. Now I'm stuck. A senior student in health information management, accredited associate or baccalaureate health information management program. Criteria for selection is based on superior scholarship, integrity, initiative, enthusiasm, and demonstrated professional potential. 
The nominee is a student member in good standing and should be planning to planning employment in the profession following graduation. Ariana Ennis. The College of Health Sciences Health Information Management Program Award is given to a senior who demonstrates academic excellence, shows enthusiasm toward the profession, and who exemplifies high professional and ethical standards. This year's recipient, Mary Margaret Rogers. The College of Health Sciences Outstanding Nursing Education Graduate Student Award recognizes a graduate nursing education student for excellence in academic achievement and who exemplifies the ideals of the profession within the nurse educator's role. This year's recipient, Karina Shane. The College of Health Sciences Outstanding Nurse Practitioner Graduate Student Award recognizes a graduating nurse practitioner student for outstanding academic achievement and professional behavior that reflects compassion, competence, conscience, confidence, and commitment. This year's recipient, Brittany Cohen. The College of Health Sciences Melissa Seville Culver Memorial Award is given to a graduating student of the Nurse Practitioner Program who demonstrates hard work and commitment to the institution and the community. This year's recipient, Inna Salisbury. The College of Health Sciences Ellen P. Cower Award is named in gratitude for the enthusiastic dedication of the founding Dean of Nursing presented to an undergraduate student for outstanding academic achievement and leadership in promoting the ideals of the professional nursing practice. This year's recipient, Linda Naples. I'd like to draw all of your attention to the to the next award. We sorry, apologize to Brenda, we had a mistake in our program. But the College of Health Sciences Graduate Dean's Award presented to a graduate student demonstrating superior superior academic strength and strong potential to be successful in their professional career. This year's recipient, Brenda Robinson.
Congratulations to all of our award recipients. I'd like to welcome Dean Liu back to the stage as we prepare for the hooding conferring of degrees. Thank you, Provost Schneider. Today, I am wearing this regalia, AKA academic dress. I only get to wear this on special days, graduation days. It is a special day today for all of our graduates and for all of us and for all of the families. Academic dress retains an extremely long tradition and dates back to not only the colonial days and Europe, but to the philosophers as well. Each, the bachelor's, master's, and doctoral gowns are differently designed. The bachelor's gown is designed with sleeves that are rather open and square at the end instead of pointed. The master's gown sleeve is oblong, and the base of the sleeve hands down with a square cut at the rear part of the oblong shape. Both gowns are all black. White. While a doctor gown is also black, some schools select to replace the black with their school colors. And the sleeves are barrel shaped with three velvet bands. These bands are either black or dark blue for a PhD, or can be trimmed in the color to designate the field of study. Thus, you can tell a great deal about a person by the gown they wear. The hoods are equally telling, as they also represent the degree master's versus doctoral, where the person went to school and their field of study. The hood itself is black. The interior lining of the hood represents the colors of the institution, and the chevrons represent the degree of study. For example, at today's ceremony, you will see colors such as apricot for nursing, sage green for the health sciences, and drab for business. These colors of program areas have been in existence for generations. A hooding ceremony is a special recognition for PhD and master's degree candidates in which a faculty member from the student's respective program places a hood over the head of the graduate, signifying their success in completing the graduate program. The last piece of information is about adornment, such as medals and medallions. You will see the president wearing medallions, which are symbolic of his position as CEO of the institution. He is to open the institution and open graduations with these medallions. Your faculty may also wear medallions and medals and honor courts that represent their academic achievements. For all the graduates, you have attained a significant achievement in your field of study. Thank you. Candidates for degrees, the moment for which you have labored so long and awaited with anticipation is at hand. I ask the provost to assist in the hooding, conferral, and presentation of degrees. Will all of the Master of Business Administration, Master of Science, and Certificate of Advanced Study degree candidates please rise?
Mr. President, these candidates have satisfied subject to verification the requirements for their respective degrees upon recommendation of the Graduate Council and the faculty, and now present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. Thank you, Mr. Provost. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and the Graduate Council, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the College Council, the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, and by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, I confer upon those of you who are found qualified the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Science, and Certificate of Advanced Study with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Candidates are asked to rise when called by academic program and remain standing until directed to move forward. Dr. Arthur Liu, Dean of the College of Business. Mr. President, will the candidates for the following degrees please rise? Master of Business Administration with a major in Technology Management. Master of Science in Accountancy. Certificate of Advanced Study with a major in Forensic Accounting and Valuation. Candidates, please move forward to receive your degrees. Elizabeth Dockstader. <laughs> Dela Hostich. Elton Williams. <laughs> Emily Mellenbacher. Brown. <laughs> Yasmin Mohammed. Adara Wilczek. <laughs> Tamika Phillip. Robert Bizinski. <laughs> 
Garrett Hazard, Chancellor's Award winner. Jose Calodla. <laughs> Kristen Rollins. Courtney Page. <laughs> Alexis Nasser. Madison Rice. <laughs> Victoria Catherine Lambert. Sheena Edmund Hamilton. Keegan Knoll. Daniel Gross Brockway. <laughs> Christina Tongtip. Andrea Monica Barto. <laughs> Vincent Veltri. Scott Laverdier. Sharon Nichols.
Dr. Joanne Joseph, Dean of the College of Health Sciences. Mr. President, will the candidates for the following degrees please rise? Master of Science with a major in Family Nurse Practitioner. Master of Science with a major in Nursing Education. Certificate of Advanced Study in Family Nurse Practitioner. Candidates, please move forward to be honored. Mackenzie Sweeney. <laughs> Brianna Tote. Maya Valentin. <laughs> Trisha Van Slyke Pasco. Mary Waugh. Pew Pew Win. Brenda Robinson. Caitlin Rustani. <laughs> Brittany Roth. Ina Salisbury. <laughs> Jasna Sabic. Sigra Sabic. <laughs> Trisha Ann Stott.
Simone Nelson. Mary Passano. Audrey Peckham. Can Ivory Petaway? <laughs> Kaylin Pilmore. Marion Poby Mensa. <laughs> Lauren Raylinski. <laughs> Beth Felter. <laughs> Jillian Gabeloff. Abigail Graves. <laughs> Julia Liparis Hall. Elizabeth Lacasano. Desiree Molnow. Brittany Murphy. <laughs> Shannon Murphy. Abigail Narkevich. <laughs> Alexander Nelson. Jill Gilman. Okay. 
Scott Giordano. Carolyn and Telesano Getchell. Janae Gray. Carrie Gray. Nora Hadlock. Sandra Halpin. Jessica Hanahan. Kayleen Jones. Melissa Cabido. Linnea Congdon. Jessica Cook. Bettina Cortez. <laughs> Elizabeth Kramer. Jonna Cussworth. Jessica Cutler. Erica Diarico. Cameron Davis. Lacey Deemer. Moran 
Thunder Downs. <laughs> Zha Sayong. Leanna Baird. Jolanda Black Johnson. Stephanie Blakey. <laughs> Samantha Blank. Brittany Cohen. Karina Shane. Marita Sang. <laughs> Allison Sohan. Susan Coiner. Maya McCann. Sarah Bugby. Krista Biha. Will all of the bachelor degree candidates please rise? Mr. President, all of these candidates have satisfied, subject to confirmation, the requirements for their respective degrees of Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Professional Studies, and Bachelor of Science. Upon recommendations of the faculty, I now present them to you for the conferring of the degree. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the College Council, the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, and by the Board of Regents of the University of the State of New York, 
I confer upon those of you who are found qualified the respective degrees of Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Professional Studies, and Bachelor of Science, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Candidates, candidates are asked to rise when called by academic program and to remain standing until asked to move forward. Mr. President, candidates for the following degrees, please rise. Bachelor of Science with a major in accounting. Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science with a major in Business Administration. Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science with a major in Finance. Candidates, please move forward to be honored. Corporal Robert Carr. Trinity Thomas. Carly Shippey. Cheyenne Bunce. Joseph Fontanella. Yeah! Logan McClelland. Jay Schmidt. Robert Drescher. Twala Ha. Shannon Birmingham. Kira Steinwand. Armin Javarovich. Sonia Cohen. Elena Rusnik. Kevin Kaltak. Andrew Sheevy. Christopher Burns. Alyssa Maglione. Francesca Leno. Tina Bo. Sergeant First Class Lewis Lindstrom.
Anthony Bonfardisi. Noah Hartung. Jerry Thurmill. Jasmine Jara. Beatrice Hercheck. Ramiza Shabanajic. Mara Taylor Yukna. Ali Ong. K. Pruta. Eka Pa. Jack Alberton. Jake Baisley. Christian Strain. Aaron Story. Kenya McNeil. Fabian Majid. Antonio Papa. Cameron Victoria Spina. Brody Guido, recipient of the Al Mario Business Strategy Prize. Jake Montrose. Emily Peckham. Andy Zinnan. Ryan Colwait. Dylan Culbertson. Tyler Swartz. Mr. President, the candidates, will the candidates for the following degree please rise? Bachelor of Professional Studies and Pro Bachelor of Science with a major in Health Information Management. Bachelor of Science with a major in Community and Behavioral Health. And Bachelor of Science with a major in Nursing. Candidates, please move forward to be honored.
Emily Ray Pitsadnik. Hannah Dimbleby. Rebecca Foster. Elizabeth Nelson. Amela Mushkic. Aida Mushkic. Elizabeth Nye. B. Pa. Two D. Saba Shahid. Shukri Haji. Mary Rogers. Darius Grace Kuzinski. Elizabeth Miles. Ariana Ennis. Mahogany Brooks. Lucas Flores. Charlene Brown. Colin Brown. Marina Tadora. Claire Pa. Casey Marcy. Angela Berenich. Janelle Edwards. Cherie Wing. Sarah Bobenhausen. Adriana Rice. Haley Lauder. Abigail Gratton. Maria Skimmerhorn. Staff Sergeant Catherine Candles. Chloe Smith. Janessa Rubino. Katrina Pantherath. Megan Clark. Emily Elliott. Thank you. 
Elizabeth Grandy. Emma Flint. Caitlin O'Neill. Aaron Oakley. Jade Kent. Tiana Testa Hartlieb. Almadina Nuhanovic. <laughs> Taylor Mason. So what do you say? Should we give them all a big round of applause, right? At this point, it's my honor to welcome noted alumna, Ms. Yasminka Husik. Today marks the completion of your studies and your start as a new degree holder. It is our hope that you will always be proud of SUNY Poly, just as we are proud of you and that you carry the name of this institution with you as you find success in the future. As students, you had the opportunity to shape the direction of SUNY Poly through the Student Association. As graduates, you can build on SUNY Poly's legacy through the Alumni Association. We hope you will become involved in the Alumni Association as it addresses alumni needs and helps shape SUNY Poly in the years ahead. Will all graduates please rise. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I congratulate you on the completion of your courses and for receiving the degrees that you have earned. It is my privilege and honor to lead you in the tangible gesture that symbolizes your passage from the status of students to the graduates and alumni. At this time, will you please move the tassel on your cap from the right side to the left. Congratulations and welcome to SUNY Poly alumni body. I now declare the May 2022 commencement for the College of Business and the College of Health Sciences of the State University of New York Polytechnic Institute concluded. Will guests and visitors please remain standing at their seats until the recessional has been completed.